This is the story of a French horn, two friends, both named David, a young promising musician, and the gift of music. In 1959, David Gray bought a French horn for $400. Today, that same horn would cost closer to $6,000. But its real value lies in its history and how it's still being used today. Jody Kurzman explains. Here's a picture of a double. David Gray knows the pages of this book by heart. They had crooks that came out. On this day, yeah. he's most interested in the horn section. It was versatile. He first picked up the horn in 1959 as a student at Dickinson State University. It could even play jazz. David played the horn for more than 50 years until his health forced him to stop. You have to have a good musical ear. A few years ago, David Gray sold that horn to his friend David Schaff. And I play in two community bands. Now that horn has changed hands again. David Schaff has loaned the horn to Century High School junior Avery Fremming. An opportunity to do a favor for a young musician and kind of pay it forward. Avery is hoping this horn might bring her good luck as she practices her Allstate Band audition. I didn't really have any lessons or anything. I just kind of went off of a fingering chart and hope for the best. As Avery breathes new life into this instrument, she knows the history it holds is pretty special. That's really awesome. David Gray thinks what else is really awesome is that 65 years after he first purchased this horn, it's still inspiring a young musician. It's like your legacy is sort of, mine is sort of continuing. A legacy that's music to everyone's ears. In Bismarck, I'm Jody Kurzman, reporting for your news leader. David Gray will get a chance to hear Avery play his French horn at Century's Holiday Concert on Monday evening. He said he's probably going to cry. Of course, he comes from a very musical family, Kevin. <laughs>